lust, lust, lust. Je t'en fais mes placements sur du Saiyan avec mes ref, ref, ref. Recording is on the way as their MC puts together a new album. Elodia, meanwhile, is sign singing, translating his lyrics into French sign language. Your MC is a well-known figure in the deaf community. For years now, he's incorporated sign language in his video clips and live concerts. Faut qu'on arrête ces clichés. On se regarde, on se toise pour des bêtises, on s'empoisonne. C'est mais c'était le plan de base. Je m'en With two deaf parents, the 33-year-olds grew up using sign language. À l'école, quand je répondais avec des signes, tu trouves ça marrant, bah viens qu'on échange. Que mes concerts soient. It's great that my concerts are signed, interpreted, or signed sung. But especially on a personal level, because it means that I can share what I'm doing with my parents. As someone from the signing community, it feels right to be doing this. The two are due to perform on stage very soon. And just like with any show, rehearsals are key. Elodia needs to make sure that her signing is well-timed with his rapping. I want to take in the music, the flow, to be sure that in the most striking parts of the song, I can recreate something that will also stand out. People think that signing is just about using your hands. That's a problem. Even on TV, you see that there is a focus on a person's hands. But if that's all you look at, you'll never understand what they're saying. As well as using the hands, facial expressions, shoulder movements and the look in the person's eyes are just as important. Elodia's been an interpreter for 10 years, having also grown up in a deaf household. Spreading awareness is important to her and she uses social media to try and debunk some of the stereotypes. All the ideas surrounding sign language, thinking that it's been put together in a very simple way, comes from the belief that if you can't talk, then you're not that intelligent. But in reality, sign languages are very rich and complex. They're learned in the same way as any oral language. Ozzy and Anae are fluent in the language. They speak it with their mother, Lila, like other children of deaf adults, also known by the acronym CODA. Having to put up with other people staring isn't always easy. But Ozzy's proud that he can sign fluently. Sometimes we get some very weird looks. When we go to a restaurant, for example, they don't understand that we're using sign language. They try and speak to us in English. They don't understand what sign language really is. They're stuck on cliches. For example, they think that my mum is what they call mute. It's not because you're deaf that you're mute. Conversations in their home are also in sign language. meaning it's often very quiet at the dinner table. Mum is very clear that she doesn't want us to speak to each other in oral French at the table because it bothers her that she can't understand. Sometimes it's weird, it's so silent, you don't even realise you're speaking. In 1979, when their mother, Lila, was born, sign language had only been allowed for two years. At school, it was barely, if ever, used. It wasn't until 1991 that parents in France were allowed to choose bilingual schooling for their children. Classes for the 130 pupils at the National Institute for Deaf Children of Paris are taught in sign language.
Their history teacher has been teaching for 15 years. The syllabus is exactly the same as for any other class, only the format is different. Bilingual classes are still the exception in France. Less than 10% of deaf children currently have access to them, mainly due to a shortage of trained staff, but also because command of sign language is very limited. Only a third of deaf people in the country can sign fluently.